Rolling with LeBrock, house build, day three. Walking up here, get a short video. Oh, here's the rebar they put together since a few days ago, one of the gentlemen. And digging continues. Ooh, they made a lot of progress since yesterday. Oh. You guys are going to be movie stars. <laughs> oh, we got two more now. Two more new, new guys. There's Jesse. Looks like they're framing something up there. Not sure what. Looking over here. It's about four, five feet deep. A lot of progress since yesterday. Yesterday, I think they were only over here. I don't know. Today, since then, here and over there. Oh, Sinuito. Somebody's there. I wonder who that is. I wonder if that's the owner of the gravel sand we're hung in. Okay, just a quick video. Not much of an oratory. Everybody's busy. Let me go see who the visitor is here. Let's see who this is. Walk back over this way. Day three and so I'll do a better job video log tomorrow, but we're making some progress. You guys know who that is? Okay, let me get over here. Alright, in the video. Okay, welcome to day four of the house build, 19 May 2022. Uh, more sand got delivered, more rebar got put together. More holes got dug. They even delivered some gravel. This is for the foundation of the columns that these guys, strong young men, have been digging. The holes for in the columns. So we're still progressing. Jay's about to get swallowed up by the hole. That's pretty deep. Wow. <laughs> Another, another progress, forming, supervising the setting of the rebar. That's where the foundations for the columns and the posts, the base of the house is going to go here. Rebar. No? Okay? Okay. <laughs> didn't want to put your own video if you didn't want to be. Came back towards the house. Looks like it's gray skies today. It's cool right now. It was hot, kind of humid this morning. Wow, the man comes from the hole. I didn't know he was down there. <laughs> Okay, this will be it for the day four video. More to follow tomorrow. Rolling with the rock and jazz. Signing off. This is an addendum video to the house build of the rock and jazz. This is the called transparent holes here. It's like an oversized water holes. Uh, you can see the water actually running through it, size one. It's pretty expensive. Yesterday we brought a whole roll, I forget the meters. It's pretty long. 
from there, the electric pump, all the way to there. That cost me a little over 4,000 pesos. That's under 100 bucks. Wow, yeah. I got a shocker. Today I went to back to the hardware store, uh, Blue Hardware, and they were out of this. So we had to go to another hardware store about a mile, yeah, let's say a kilometer and a half down the road. And uh, it was 8,000 pesos for 36 meters, which is not as long as this. Uh, so that's going to be added to that tomorrow so they can have the mixer and move it around as they needed to mix the concrete and the grava into the foundation holes. Uh, so that set me back a little bit. It's my responsibility to provide water from the ground to the site and to provide electricity, you know, to the site. So those costs are mine outside of the 2.6 million pesos it's going to cost to build this home, four bedroom, two and a half bath home. Uh, roughly 230 something square meters, which is, if it plays out exactly, that's a little, that's around 2,500 square feet. Now I'm thinking when they did the square meters, they did it on the outside lines of the house, not the actual internal. So it's probably going to be inside the floor area, livable floor area is probably going to be significantly lower than that. But still the same home size and everything designed on the internet and architecture and builders was advertised to be between 4 million to 6 million pesos. Uh, found an engineer, Marvin and his group. You know, I got to ask him his company name. I've just been dealing with him. They're going to do it for 2.6 million. Same design. I redesigned the upstairs a little bit. But this downstairs is pretty much the same. I moved to CR, comfort room, otherwise known as the bathroom down here, uh, from the base design idea that I had wanted. So we drew from that, and here we are, building the home for us on this property. As you can see, the house looks rather small to the property, but that's okay. I like a big yard. We're going to plant fruit trees here, various kinds of sources, as I've stated, and some other things, who knows, uh, yet to be determined. Again, uh, I'm going to put a brick wall around the property where you see the dirt goes up from up there to prevent any typhoon flooding from coming here, which is usually going to come from this direction, coming in. So it's going to hit the walls, go to this trench, as I stated before, flow all the way that way. And also on the other side, in those trees, there's a creek. It's going to flow down that way, go around. So I'm going to completely wall our land in high enough to where the water cannot overcome and come in. That way we're only dealing with the rainfall. And obviously down the road I plan to fill the land some more as we go. Uh, as the money comes, I'll fill the land as we plant. Uh, the house is going to be about up to my knees off of the ground before they lay the ground floor. Also as a precaution. Okay, so we're taking every precaution we can against the Philippine weather. Uh, at some point in time I'll be knocking down these little humps, flatten them down. I'll use them as a basis and fill in each plot as we go, plot by plot. If you look at it from an aerial view, it looks like a squared rectangle, a rectangle with square plots in it. And that's probably how I'll fill in the dirt and use these as a guideline as the money comes in. Uh, the price is changing as the world events change. Everything starts to go up here, just like in the States. So, um, Peso's money. You come over here, fixed income, you set to live and then things go up. So just like in the States, you know, you're on a fixed income, you got to jiggle the budget a little bit, shake it. Um, so we're going to take it as we go, day by day, nothing's going to get done at once. We're going to gradually build. And like I said, this driveway I'm going to lay in here is going to be gravel from like, right where that white goat is sitting in my driveway right about from there. It's generally where everybody seems to get stuck into here where it recesses and I'm going to turn directly around straight up to the carport where that guy's walking across there on this side of the wood though um, it's going to be a gravel I haven't decided how wide I'm going to make it I just need it for one vehicle to go in one vehicle to go I don't need a two lane driveway 
don't need it cost uh, a lot of this s1 gravel basically it's going to be shifted because you get it too thick as you can see people get stuck so right now we got it dug out enough and we tramped on it enough to where we don't get stuck here but over there don't venture there if you're driving uh, okay looks like the addendum is longer than a normal video so i'll cut it here rolling with the rock this is an addendum to day four of 19 May 2022 home build video of La Rock and Jazz. Thank you for joining us. Please like, subscribe, and share. Yes, I plan on making this little YouTube for my family and friends and whatnot. Ciao.